Open house is great because it gives kids and parents and, and sixth and seventh graders the exposure to what the school looks like. You walk the hallways, you get to meet the coaches, the teachers. So open house is imperative to the idea if a kid wants to go there or not. Um, it gives them their first idea of how they feel. Because I think you have a general idea when you go into a school. Like I know when I went to school at Cortland, I knew once I stepped on campus and I had a feel, like this was a good place for me. From Wednesday, none of our corners and safeties are playing games either. That's the worst part. Even in this game, I said switch it up. You see that these guys are just still being the same robots. Hey, Alex, how are you? This is Ryan. He's going to be your tour guide. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Meet you, sir. You can too. Ryan can answer any of the questions that you have as you move around the building, as can any of the adults that you meet along the way. Welcome back. I think the but he still, his angle still should have been to the pylon at least. To him to yeah, like, he, he going to the sideline. All right, first of all, you guys assume these guys are football players. <laughs> all right, that's the first mistake you're making. When you have open house, that's a good idea for a kid to kind of walk in those doors and get that feeling or meet those people that might, you know, sway his opinion to or from the school. The thing that we have to remember is that this quarterback is a more like an Army Reed. So what we're seeing a lot of times is that you know, Army, where he's just giving it to him, coming here. Everybody's basically almost wedge blocking. Over here, we're good. Now, if we're in pink, ain't nothing going on but the rent, basically, as they say, because we're locked up. And that's what we ran against him last year is, is a lot of Seattle uh, or Waco pink. It's football season. Um, so for me, uh, with Coach Gilmore and I, we've got to be out there and meet the kids. Um, in addition, we also have a game to get ready for. Um, and that's why you have great staff members. Keep that damn zero on the board. Don't come in here Monday not wanting to work. We don't got that. Get fired up. Let's go. Be happy for your brothers making plays. Cause he gonna be happy for you when you make plays. Love you guys, family on me, family on three. One, two, three. Family! You asked me a question last week, do I trust you? I need you to trust me in that when I know we can shut a son of a bitch down, we got this. Sure. Run the ball because when you put us, not you, but when Tyler, regardless of what you call, puts us in responsibility, sure. when we don't pick up a blitz properly and he holds the ball, sure. You know, Here, here's the deal, though. We did run it. How many times did we pass? 30. 30, 30. 30, 30? We yeah. ran the ball 30 times? Yeah. Well, 30 called runs. We didn't run the oh. ball 30 times. We had 30 <laughs> called runs, right? Whether you have penalties or bad snaps. But when you're there, as opposed to 40 20 or 45 18, which is where, where we've been most of the game, I like to do 45 18. Yeah, but that's just not this team, man. It's just not this team. But right? here's the thing I need you to be that team because. We can hold it down on the opposite I don't end. Think, I don't think it's who we are. I think we got to go back to the original offensive line. Sully stunk by, by a mile, yeah. and I, it broke so my we heart. Get, we get Sully back? You do. He you had do. one play, and that play, he blew up everything. No, so, you do. Done. <laughs> done. Right. And Kev, got to keep him motivated. Well, I don't want to get in full panic mode. I don't know why we changed the offensive line. Uh, we were the number one team in the state before the Maslin game, and we really got to play and act like the number one team in the state. I believe in the guys that we had, and I think we should stick to them. Our plan mm -hmm. probably will be to move Ham from five to zero to one. And Ham does, I mean, I don't know if you looked at the defensive film. Yeah. He's a problem. Sure. I mean, yeah. not even sure. I mean, he is a legitimate. They use three dudes, a, a lunge dude, an engaged dude, then a cut dude. Yeah. On this guy, how do you account for for Jimmy? We, I don't. We, we we throw our rules out and we go Grayson Gale, which is basically just an inside slide, with B gap and C gap on the backside being protected by running back and tackle. I don't. We don't show everything, right? You got you, because it, you got to win this game, but you really got to win the next one. He takes whatever we did in the first game, and that's his game plan in the second game. Def my experience with him is. It's, it's Belichick, right? Like, we're going to take away whatever you do best. That's what I was telling these guys earlier. Mike, Doc, Mike Doctor's going to have zero catches. That's their, that's their hope this week. Jerry's a legend, man. Jerry will go play anybody at 
any time. He's not afraid of nobody. The St. Ignatius's of the world, the Erie, the Cathedral Preps, you know, he'll play anybody. And that made our level rise quicker. So I, you know, Jerry's, Jerry's just as much as this program success as, as everyone else is because without St. Francis being good and beating us early, we don't get to where we need to get, to tell you the truth, because they were the measuring stick. And it's almost like the Patriots, you know, forget what, what you're doing against everyone else. If you're not beating St. Francis, there's no use of beating everyone else because at some point in time, you're gonna have to go head to head. You know, if you want to have a good program and, and you, the local schools are not playing you consistently, or for us really hardly at all, um, you know, you have to go out of the state. And Canisius has done it and their program has risen above the local area and we've done it and our program has lived, you know, risen above. If you can start for us, you can play in college, no doubt about it. I think there is a uh, sense of respect for each other because lately, over the last several years, it's either been Canisius or ourselves winning the championships, um, you know, and so it's something that, it, it's a measuring stick because it's two of the best programs in Western New York by far um, going at it. And, uh, you know, and we get after it, both teams get after it. So it, it's, it, it's great to see that. That's what, that's what this is supposed to be about. Did Alvin Julian do anything after the first round? No, you guys stopped him. I mean, he only let up 14. Eight. It was eight? I mean, defense went after it. When we played Massillon, Millie messed up our snaps. Got us 55 yards and offside penalties. Okay. They take our second string center, put him in. Move Millie to guard. So we got a center's first game. Yeah. Millie's first game at guard. Our left tackle gets hurt. Now we have Jake Burke playing left tackle. Three of our starting linemen is their first time in that position. Yeah. Burke missed. We have two sophomores. Yeah, right. sophomore center, sophomore left tackle. Yeah. Defense played good, though. Defense is played good. Players are like a little fatigued right now with a disconnect to the coaches and kind of mixed up. Uh, we're trying to find that connection back again after a tough loss and a sketchy win we're just trying to come back and be better than we were before i don't know it's just hard because a lot of people aren't enjoying it like coach t has two sides he's either gonna love us one day or he's just gonna be on our ass one day so it's like one day you'll think you're doing good and you're happy and it's a good practice and then the next day you think you're just like you're dog shit and you're just not doing it right and it's just it's hard on a lot of players like i know i know a handful of players have thought about just like taking some time off and taking some time to themselves. With like, cause like all we have in sight is just winning like Monsignor Martin and a state championship and just winning. That's yeah, it. what's this week's pay for that? I feel as if we gonna succeed as a team, we just gotta try to like black out all the noise and just stay together. You feel me? It's just, especially like if you're trying to win a state championship, you're trying to do good in the future. You just gotta black out all the noise and just stay true to what we're doing right now. The defense was solid this game. Opposing team only scored once. I was able to get in, get my feet wet, make a couple big plays, sacks, tackle for loss, and it felt good. We gotta get our communication on point, be firing on all cylinders. Playing one of the best teams in the state, we know we gotta be ready. We know we gotta be practicing hard, listening, and executing well. One, two, and boom. Now I'm gone. Good job, DD. That's a heck of a job. Hey, who is that? Who, who the hell is that? You just getting your ass full, huh? You chipping. Hey, Millie. I don't care. Millie, go for it. Did you chip him? Hey, you may want to eat this week. Start chopping. This isn't last week. Screw it. Start chopping. It's Franny's week. It's it's a super important game. The winner of that game, we know, is gonna is gonna be who's gonna host the MMA championship at their home. So everything's everything's leveled up. Everything's cranked. Trap, 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 trap. What are you waiting for, Pamke? Fire week, burn strong. Hey, Boris, you gotta remember they're gonna run right.
I think one guy who surprised me is, is um, Minka. Um, we call him Boris because we had a guy here named Boris with red hair, so that nickname stuck with him. Was nowhere on our radar and has played Jack the entire year, and he's played it well. I mean, he played it so well, he made a kid transfer. You know, here he is, a scholarship rugby kid. Uh, never coached him when he was a freshman or a sophomore. He didn't come out for that. And he's come out and he's made an impact on Coach Posey. He's made an impact on the field. He's contributed to Coach Taylor's schemes. Very coachable. You serious? Hey, communicate! Let's go. Hey, pause. Hey, if that's the case, what do you expect right now? He's going to fall. He's going to walk down. There you go. So what does that tell you if you need to? Yes. You should know it already. Good job. Over communicate. You guys are going to be, damn, <laughs> get this cut. You guys are going to be married one day, and your wife is going to, don't forget this, don't forget this. Oh, you know, work on these sons of bitches' nerves. Am I lying? <laughs> hey, fellas, not bad. I saw a lot of conversation, guys, running around. Our communication has to get better. So I'm telling you guys now, whatever you bring your wrist cards and take whatever is in out and throw it away, okay? Throw it away, you'll get new ones tomorrow. Everything you're going to be coached for tomorrow in terms of plays are going to be from the sideline. So make sure you are ready to roll tomorrow. Good work. Study, study, study what these guys are doing, all right? What is this rivalry really all about? I think St. Joe's Canisius is a rivalry. Ours is just two very good programs you know, getting after each other. It's not a rivalry in a sense that it's, it's be all and, you know, it, it is all and be all and take all, you know? I mean, it's not, we still gotta play again. First game with St. Francis is always a, uh, uh, what do you call it? Speed dating. I mean, you get to know people, you get to know their players, you get to kind of know what their mindset is. It's no secret that with with Canisius, they've always seemed to have a mobile quarterback who can, who's a dual threat. So you got to try to take care of that somehow. You're not going to ever stop him. You just have to try to contain him and minimize his effectiveness. The offensive line and their defense, their defense plays tough all the time. I, I love their defense. They, they play hard. Um, I think we need to match that and, and hopefully can exceed that. Uh, I think our defense is good. I think it plays hard too. I think it's tough. Um, so it, it's going to be a good battle. To beat Franny's, it's going to take everybody from the seniors to the young guys like me, Bert, Darrell, Ham. It really is. We're a good team. We're better than them, but they're a decent team. So this is going to take everything. The teams, the teams we played were quitting at halftime. We came out and just smacked everybody in the mouth. And it just seems like lately, these past what, three games, you got we've been a second half team where they've come out, we've come out flat, right? And then in the second half, they they want to quit, right? The teams want to quit when y'all running around and smacking them in the mouth. Don't wait. Don't wait till the second half to come out <coughs> running around being excited. Do it from the opening kickoff, from the jump. Let them know they don't deserve to be on the field with you. You just cannot allow a team like this Saturday night to think that they have a freaking chance. So they go up 7 nothing. Great. What do we win, 55-7 then? 88-7? to it's just, You guys got to get that mindset. Not that, oh my God, we're in a dog fight. If we're in a dog fight with these clowns, I'm gonna be, that's when I'm gonna get pissed. Cause you've allowed this. So just remember, everything does not go your way all the time. But you're dominant, fellas. Act like it, play like it, be enthused with it, all right? Coaches, anything. Trust each other. Trust each other. Trust everything we just did this week. It's gonna happen Saturday. Them picks is coming, I swear to God. Those outs is coming, I swear to God. Those screens is coming, I swear to God it's coming on Saturday. I promise you that, it's gonna happen Saturday. Every time I wear uh, our shit, they say, hey man, did you be friends with Joe's? Don't give a fuck if we, if we just beat Cardinal Hayes or whatever. Don't give a fuck about that. We gonna kick their ass tomorrow night, man. Yes, sir. I got the feeling Coach Carter doesn't like Franny's, but that's a whole different. <laughs> 
got some anger issues. So, hey, uh, captains, anything? Oh, uh, yo, it's going. We gotta go out there. It's gonna be a preview of the Monster Mind Championship. So we gotta go out there. We gotta set the tone early. And we gotta light these boys up so that they they know for the Monster City Martin Championship, bro. They know we're gonna smack them. I want them to think we're gonna smack them. I want Jimmy Scott to be like, I'm not even playing in the second half because I'm not I'm not risking injury versus these boys. I'm gonna go up 50, 50 to nothing in the first half and just fucking keep pounding on them, them boys. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This is our last big team meal of the season until we get to the states. So. Always take these moments that we have, we eat together, and chalk them up as a memory, all right? And, and just for tomorrow, guys, I will say, we talk about this all the time, about pulling in the same direction and going through the ups and downs of the game. There's going to be a time tomorrow where we may drop a pass or we may give up a, an assignment. It's how we communicate offensively and defensively tomorrow that's going to be the key to this because... St. Francis feels like they're a better team than us, right? You guys know that all the hearsay here, but just from what I hear is they're very confident going into tomorrow's game. So make sure that you guys leave no doubt in, in what we do. These are the games you, we get up for. This is what we want to do. Uh, you know, I know he's sitting over there hating us and telling his group they should be beating our tail and we're telling our group the same thing. You can be excited, you can be amped up, you can be after it, but you gotta have a level head. You gotta be able to know what you're supposed to do and do what you're supposed to do it and do it with passion. It's not that we diminish anything. There's no diminishing, it's a big game. There's no doubt about it, it's a real big game. What we need to do is to make sure that everybody keeps their head level and do what needs to be done and win it on the field. You know, win it with all the talk and all this other stuff because that, that don't win ball games, talk is cheap. After being knocked off as the number one team in New York State by the Masculine Tigers, the 5-1 Canisius Crusaders travel to Athol Springs to face the 4-3 St. Francis Red Raiders. In the shortened 2020 season, the Crusaders had their way with the Red Raiders, and they're looking to build on that dominance this season. The Crusaders are led by senior three-year starting quarterback Tyler Baker, and the Red Raiders are buoyed by one of the best defenses they've had in recent years, led by Jimmy Scott. This should be the biggest game in Western New New York. Let's go get it. Yep. Yes, sir. Let's get some. Let's get at it. Hey, that's a penalty. Hey, that's After a series on defense, I knew we had this game. Yo! So we're backed up on the first drive. There's nothing to worry about, but we gotta go out there, get some first downs and make some plays. No problem with Jimmy though, huh? Nah. Does he feel like he's lost it or something? This game's a statement, and we're trying to destroy them to let them know that the next time we play them, they won't want to. If as soon as they get here, get in your hole. All right, let's go. Let's go get it. Right now, I'm 
feeling it, and we got this game. Hey, I'm a fucking lady. This game is a battle, they're our rivals, but we can't really care about what they're saying, how hyped they are, or what they're doing. We just have to worry about ourselves, because then that's how we're going to win. So minor setback, everything's not going to be perfect, so we just got to get out there and respond. Go, Ham. Good drive. Good drive. Good stop. Way to go. Hey, That's what we're talking about. Hey, Brim, hell of a call, baby. Hell of a call. Hell of a call. We have to complete small plays, small and chunk, 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 and just go down the field. We don't have to get super big bombs or just super long plays. It's just it's got to be four, five, six, seven yard plays. You got to tell me that you feel comfortable with our guys, our corners, one on one. If you tell me that, I will run more pick. I'm scared to death of our corner. You're saying we? Figure yeah. it out, because if we're not, if you don't feel comfortable with those guys squeezing on that slant, that they're gonna run the James every time on the backside, then we got it. Then we can't do it. Coach Carter told me I'm starting this second half. It's my time to make an impact on this rivalry, and I'm ready. The young boys starting for it. Okay. If we if we do our if we do stay in blue, I think we call blue and be ready to check on some of the things. Yeah, I like I like that. We can go gold and keep Nick there, but the problem and I got to be sure it's a pass. I just can't. It, it won't be on first yeah. down a lot of times. It's just like when we call roll field, it was second and twelve. They want to get the ball out of his hand quick. So we're good. Oh, Kick. You would never hear that fucking Get on there, Get on there. Whole sideline seeing that, like, they, they was probably thinking, man, is that here? You've been talking all that stuff all season. And I look over there at the sideline, they over here, number eight. You suck, number eight. You suck. Hey, 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 respond right because we're making way too many mistakes and turning ourselves against a really good team like Iona it's not gonna fly Yo. <laughs> 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 
Him, we can't leave him to a tailback. Leave who? Number one, right? <laughs> There's a guy outside. He was the guy outside. He was the player outside. <laughs> just listen. Just he was the player outside. Wait, listen. Yeah. listen. If you yeah, see him, if you see him, right, and he's on your side. In the V. What? He was in the V. No, buddy. He was the outside player. Number one was the outside player. Right. I'm just, well, I'm just telling you, right? Well, we have to play. What's that? We to play. Hey, we got spread charges. Guys. We got spread charges, hey, right? Can we try on Fab. Could it be at us? Pick! Pick! Woo! OPI? Yeah. Oh, boy, he's literally just lining up inside because he knows I'm running that way. Like, That's how true. Run by him, bro. He's really just making the way inside. We're not calling the fate that we Yeah. Let's go back to Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Let's go, D. Wow. Miracle. Blank down to Lee Keen. Let's go, Cap Boy. Go. Right there. That was everything we needed. We just gotta keep going. Baker's pass complete to Philly. Hey, listen, it's, 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 it's four down territory, right? We're in America? We're good? Okay. Yeah, what? Okay. Listen, we're going spread bunch. We're going spread bunch of Sassanese. Get into that bunch. Get into that bunch. Drive. If, if one's inside there, get them hooked, right? And make sure we're up. You know what I'm saying? Come back and get it. Hey. You gotta make that. All right, get those guys. They're flying around like they want to win. We're reaching like we're trying to survive. We have to complete a drive. We have to put some points on the board. We can't get the ball on offense and not get any points out of it. Now we just need the defense to step up and give us the ball back and we we'll score again. Do we keep it for offense or we call it here? Go! Strip it here! Strip it! Hey, eight man. 
Eight man, we got to sell out to get this ball. Okay. Yes, sir. Every ball's coming after it. Yes, sir. Okay. Except who's got who's got man on man on those wings? Right you. Yep. And Nate, right? You. Okay. Everybody else is going. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's so, go. Let's what, get it. what is it like on the right side? Huh? What is it like on? The, I got two personal protectors blocking for me, and I can get to the ball. Done. Yeah, they they shift the they shift the personal protector me and Dunn's side. Okay. okay. Go get it. All right. Okay. Dumbest football players in my life. Dumb. Pick it up and score. Swag this week, hey, right? Great job. Get it. How, many how, many Cyclone? Cyclone? how many times cyclone? How many times cyclone? slow, quarterback scrambles. I run him down from behind, make him fumble, me and Braden, I believe. My helmet come off. They give us like a 25 yard flag for me continuing to play without a helmet. But as you can see, when my helmet came off, I stopped. But when it happened to them earlier in the game, it wasn't caught. Wow! Hey, hey, hurry up! Hey, Pam, hurry up! Pam, hurry up! Overtime, going against one of our biggest rivals for first place in the division. We got to give it everything we got here. We got to score and we got to win the game. Number 29, Aaron Lawrence. With the Red Raider touchdown. <laughs> Baker's pass complete. <laughs> Pass, split row, Packers, 
Y Mofo. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. What's that? Words are a weak point, right? The weak point, right? Yeah. You good with that? Yeah. Right? Hey, we need great protection up front. What's that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, split row, Packers, Y Mofo. Split row, Packers, Y Mofo. Let's go, all line. Come on. Baker's pass is incomplete. Red Raiders win. I have to be trusted in those important moments when the game is on the line. I have to be able to make that. And I'm, I'm happy that my teammates trust me enough for me to go make that play. And in the future, I just got to be there to make it. Nobody was screaming and yelling. Nobody was pitching at anybody up like that. Hearing that sucks, but here's what you want to do when you hear stuff like this, right? Go ahead and peek down down there. Because no, we're going to get this the next time. Here. All right? Coming back here. We have another road. We're going to have to do it here, and we're going to have to go through Joe. All right? Don't come in here Monday not wanting to work and feel sorry for yourself and have this St. Francis hangover. Because when I leave here tonight, we're getting to work on prep and we're still staying focused on what we need to do. You hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. State Championship and Mount Senior Martin Championship. That's our goal, and it's still right there in front of us. If it's taken away from us, then we can keep our heads up. Till then, we're still Kanisha, so we're still the best team in this area. You hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nick, break them down. Let's clean up this field.